Back at the farm, John Bradshaw has asked the farmer to give his cats a rare treat. A rabbit they haven't had to catch themselves. First to the table is Black and Ginger, the mother of two-week-old kittens. She takes control of the rabbit. With four young kittens to feed, she has the greatest need to eat. Black and Ginger even fends off a much bigger cat with ease. This enthusiasm for fresh meat is a key survival instinct for every member of the cat family. Because while lots of animals eat meat, cats are one of only a handful of mammals that must eat it to survive. For a start, they've got quite short guts that don't digest plant protein very well. But also, they need some amino acids that we don't need. The key one is one called taurine, which is uh, essential for their health. Now, we make as much taurine as we need to in our own bodies. Cats can't do that. And once, so one of the things they need to get from animal protein, from meat, is that essential amino acid, taurine. As well as taurine, there are 18 other nutrients cats have to get from meat that people and even dogs can get from vegetables. The carcass will give them all sorts of nutrients. It'll give them calcium from the way they're crunching up the bones, um, and it will also give them water. Uh, cats are notorious for not drinking very much, and in fact, evolutionarily speaking, they would have got most of their water from the flesh that they ate and, not, and wouldn't need to drink at all. Our cats' wild ancestors could survive only on fresh meat. They even evolved more efficient kidneys so they could get all the water they needed from the prey they caught. This wild hunting heritage is in every cat, from the largest lion to the smallest moggy. But our pet cats could be on the verge of an evolutionary change. It's only been 30 or 40 years since we fully understood what the cat's nutritional needs are. Before that, they had to go out hunting in order to get a balanced diet and continue to breed. So in the next 50 or 100 years, who knows what might happen? They might very well change and need to hunt a lot less simply because we're now able to provide them with a balanced diet. It's possible that the hunting drive our cats share with their big cat cousins could fade. It's just one way living with us in our 21st century world could be taming our cat's wild side. Thank you.